What's up, Tricksters? Today, with your favorite Radiant player and coach, we are analyzing recent Jet nerfs and whether she is still the queen of Valorant ranked solo queue. For the past two years, Jet has been undisputed number one agent in the competitive scene of Valorant with pick rate over 90%. This has been an extremely unhealthy environment for the game where other duelists just seemed absolutely useless compared to Jet. With her abilities, she was the real playmaker, for which, to be honest, you didn't need a lot of IQ or good game decisions. You can be aggressive, passive, operator player, hold any position or off angle in Valorant with 100% success rate. Even in the hands of bad players, she was striking the fear in her opponents. Especially in the days when she had three smokes, extremely deadly ultimate, cheap utility, enormous amount of adaptiveness to different type of scenarios, and with a lack of debuff agents like Ko, she was insane. From Valorant Close Beta up until now, Jet has remained number one agent to grind ranks and learn how to play this game to the highest levels. Sometimes in my coaching sessions, I was even forcing players to learn how to play her simply because she was broken as F, and the adaptiveness of this character allowed you to play successfully any situation that you come across. And not only that, she's going to put you in enormous amount of different situations from which you can learn a lot and progress as a player. The main reason why I was doing that is because you need to strive towards reaching the highest ranks as soon as possible, so you can get the true Valorant experience to improve and progress. Which means that you should abuse everything that is considered overpowered at that moment of time, whether it is some agent or weapon. If your goal is not to have fun, but to improve as fast as possible and reach higher ranks. If your heart stuck gold for more than six months and you're only playing against gold players, you're never learning anything new. Your body and your mind is not developing properly and you're stagnating. If you play basketball against me for the next three months, you won't learn anything new and you won't progress as a player. But if you play basketball against LeBron James for three months, even though he is going to shit on you, your body and mind will slowly adapt to his playstyle and you'll be pushing your skill ceiling higher and higher every single day or maybe pick a few tricks that he is using against you and then when you come to play basketball against me we won't be in the same league anymore that means even if you reach immortal or radiant by abusing some exploits in the game but you have a lot of gaps in your skill sets as a player that is actually good it is going to be easier for you to understand your problems and fix those gaps in higher ranks. But why? If you're playing against the enemies that have absolutely same problems as you have, then you won't even notice them, because everyone is making the same mistakes and you'll consider that as a normal habit. If you also want to improve as fast as possible in Valorant and reach higher ranks like hundreds of other players before, make sure to join my official Discord server and check out my professional private coaching programs for your personal progress as an esports player. But Jet has some other other problems as an agent in Valorant. You don't have a good smoker in your team? No problemo, you can smoke everything yourself. Your team is way too passive and they don't know how to attack? No problemo, with 200 IQ executes from Charlatan you can take any map control yourself. Your team can defend some bomb site? Hold my beer, baby, and give me that operator. You get the point. With her, you basically don't rely on anyone in your team, and that is why the solo queue grind with her was a piece of cake. But here we come across another jet problem. When you don't have a coach or mentor to teach you how to play Valorant properly, a lot of players built up bad habits from playing her, simply because she was way too forgiving and had a second life ability, which is her dash. With her dash ability, you could have positioned yourself however you want, and that was the main power of this agent. Not her smokes, not her updraft, not her ultimate, but the dash ability. You can just stand in the middle of nowhere, have absolutely horrible entry pathing, peek three enemies in the same time, and still get away with one kill in your pocket. But one thing that you cannot escape with her dash right now is pressing that subscribe button, turn your notifications on for some future epic content, leave a like, 
like, leave a comment, and down in the description below, you need to check out my other social media as well. Throughout last two years, they did numerous changes to Jet, but none of them were significant enough to replace her carry potential, because none of them impacted her main ability, which is Dash. If you've been following my Radiant Grinds, Challenges, or Iron 1 to Radiant series on twitch.tv forward slash charlatan channel, you know that with Jet I was unstoppable in ranked solo queue. I had over 2000 hours on her, and combined with my previous FPS experience, game sense and game knowledge, I mean, what else do I need? I reached Radiant 18 times in every single competitive act of Valorant, and Jet allowed me to claim that rank at least 10 out of these 18 titles. But I knew that this Cinderella story will have a very sad ending, so last year I also started maining Omen, Chamber and experimenting different playstyles with other agents. Her position was just extremely unhealthy for competitive integrity. I'm an extremely adaptive player in any game that I play, but never in my life. I had 2000 hours on one character. That's just plain stupid if you want to truly improve. You need to master two agents for solo queue grind and have at least one more in your backpack for some versatility. As a player you need to adapt, you need to grow, you need to fix all of your movement, positioning, game sense, map awareness and enormous amount of other things and problems. But with Jet, you didn't need half of these gameplay skills, baby. So what did Valorant do about this problem and did they completely kill Jet with this nerf? With the latest patch, Dash ability has finally been changed. Previously, we had an instant second life ability with only one click, no matter in which type of situation we are at that moment of time. Now, this ability works in the following way. With the first press of your assigned button, you activate this ability. Then, after 0.75 seconds, you're able to dash freely in any direction that you want. But if you don't use her dash in less than 12 seconds, you completely lose this ability. Of course, if you get two kills during the round, her dash ability will be recharged again. In my opinion, this nerf could have been executed in a bit more natural and better way in terms of intuitive game design, but it is still good enough for Valorant. With this change, you need much better positioning, game sense and game decisions to properly utilize Jet's full potential. You cannot rely on Dash in every single situation, and now, my dear solo queue goridas, you need to unfortunately use your full brain capacity. On both attackers and defender side, you can still perform every single aggressive play. You can execute bomb sites same as you did before, you can peek enemies aggressively, you can get in a gunfight with three enemies and still get away with one kill in your pocket, you can do whatever you want as long as you've activated your dash ability. But you need to think two steps ahead. When you want to activate it and for what purpose? Is it even worth it? Which means that you need to read enemies better and situations in which you are at that moment of time, and your opponent can delay your place with their utility and completely make your second life ability useless. At the start of the round, she is still going to be as powerful as she was before. You think enemies are going to push a side of ascent, take an operator, play this off angle in the main area, activate dash when you hear enemies pushing or if you feel that they are going to peek you at that moment of time and get away with one kill in your pocket. But in the middle and ending of the rounds, you need to adapt more. You need to have better positioning and develop your game sense for when to activate her dash. But there is always a chance that you're going to simply waste it. So, in my opinion, the queen has fallen from her throne after two years of changes, patches and new agents. Jet is no longer the best in Valorant to grind solo queue ranks. She is still the best duelist in the game, but on a very very thin borderline between Reyna, Raze, Yoru and Neon. My boy Phoenix is crying in the forgotten corner, baby. <laughs> With all of this being said, a lot of questions still remain unanswered. Who is on the throne right now, charlatan? Who should I main? Who are the best agents to grind ranks and improve? as fast as possible? Who is going to teach me everything about Valorant? Who is going to improve my adaptiveness, game sense and game knowledge faster? Well, all of these questions and many others are going to be answered in my Ultimate Agents tier list video in the future. 
so make sure to hit that subscribe, turn on your notifications, leave a like and comment. Follow me on twitch.tv forward slash charlatan because this act we are doing road to rank 1 radiant on NA servers with 150 plus ping. Join my official discord server to find an answer to all of your questions before others or to hire me as your personal Valorant coach. And other social media links are down in description below. I'm yours one and only warden of the tricksters community. Thank you for watching and cut baby.